Okay, I'm going to play some more Nights of a Chalice if I have a fantasy games. Make sure I'm actually recording and all that. I believe I am. Just, it's always worth a double check. Save a lot of agony in the future, right? So I dealt with <laughs> the foolish, foolish about a queen. So let's see what's in here. Hmm. Ah! In front of you are three savage Grimlocks. They're little grunts. Ugh. You want to go? You pay 500 gold. Pay, and you live. We have friends in the next cave. I'm not paying you thugs. You fool, you die, we take all. And then they'll eat us. <laughs> or they'll try. Oh my god, I was... <laughs> Fools, really? You only have four hit points. Die. <laughs> and then they're foolish enough to tell me that they have gods in the next room as well. Ooh, I had to, alright. And reload. And fast move over there, because you can. And... Can you get there in time? Go right to there, and... It's fine. Hm. Ah, I didn't see you. Well. If I do a shoot here, it'll probably be an attack opportunity. Five now, we're level ten. So magic missiles is capped out. Bye. <laughs> that was amusing. I'll take it, why not? Let's toss another gun, it's worth ten, but mm -hmm. it's pretty gold would have otherwise, right? That looks like something, isn't it? Is that what gonna put out? Well, we know it's coming up next, right? Grimlocks. Two insect-like creatures address you. Halt, adventurers. Please state your business. Just explore in the caves, the Thrycranes. If you have no hostile intentions, then you are welcome among the Thrycranes. Be sure to talk to our leader, Kaltak. He is a little way west of here. Okay. That's interesting. Thrycane gather is female. I don't mean, I don't mean, they have to be some males, right? <laughs> That's how they're making more of them, right? Fly queens are intelligent insectoid creatures, sight larger than humans, they're always female. Yeah, I think you just don't see the males. They have six limbs, yellow exoskeleton, and two antenna and two large eyes. In combat they use four claws, and the more powerful ones are very paralyzing But Yeah, so these guys, or girls, you want at early levels, you want to make sure they have to move. Or keep them moving, right? Because otherwise they can get all those attacks. It can be brutal. Natural weapon attacks, yeah. Weapons finesse. Natural armor bonus, yeah. So they're really strong starting out. I don't think they normally wear armor though. Just because of that, they've uh, integrated. <laughs> they've got integrated armor, right? Armor class 18. Yeah. That range pretty tough. That's level 2. Okay. Wait, what, what alignment were they? Too neutral, right? Ah, that's the boss. The boss girl. She has a minor sonic ring resistance. She has a deep slumber scroll. I don't have that spell. A secret spear. Kaltas received this magic weapon from her elders as a reward for defeating a child of trolls. Okay, she's kind of badass. Alright. It's just a magic spear. And she has a bone key. A small key made entirely of bone. You open the tomb. The door to the forbidden tomb. Interesting. What's that? Sign of resistance. Okay, so she's the boss. I'll talk to her. Well, met adventurers, I am the leader of this community. You have proven your strength and courage for coming down here. Yeah. I want to ask you something. My people are suffering because the cave dwellers from below are raiding us for water. The dwarves and Thrykreen are currently at war. So, the probably deep dwarves, Duragar. Mm. I would gladly agree to a truce and gladly trade water with them, but they hold a grudge against us, asking you to make them stop their raids. Okay. You are not Thrycreen. Maybe they will listen to you. Or you can just use force. It's up to you. If you succeed, I will give you the key of the Forbidden Tomb and a magic scroll of deep slumber. What is the Forbidden Tomb? 
The tomb is a sanctum for the undead and other evil creatures. I have sealed off the entrance because too many people have perished there already. How do you also find treasure in it? Okay. Go ahead and hear. Treasure? Yes. So, what's this? Fight Korean. Short spare. Does she chat? Nah, she's like, mm mm. This is a fight green camp. Uh, let's see what's over here. Probably the door of the forbidden tomb, right? That should be all. Just regular fight green, that would say. What is that? Oh, deflect. Okay, deflecting, because the bring a deflection. Jackson ring. Fight greens. Fight green. Fight green. That had nothing to say. Okay. Oh, we can head down. It's cool. That's what the dwarves would be, right? Hmm. Ah! This strike green cleric is guiding the water supply. Interesting. So, <laughs> I bet there's a quest to poison the strike green. Chat with you. <laughs> Good day, men of the surface. We must all respect and worship Mother Nature so that the water will always flow. Can I drink from the pool? Certainly, water is nature's gift for all of us. Okay. Drink from the pool. Rufus feels very refreshed. Everyone in the party gains 10 XP points. So if only Rufus drinks, everyone's like, Good job, Rufus. <laughs> you, you taste the water first. Good day. Why do dwarves fight with you? I do not know. They're behaving like reckless boots. Can we fight healing? See, I say provide healing, but what I actually want to do is trade with you. You're critical, you know that spell? I don't think I do. How much money do you have? See, merchants. Merchants are like the real resource in luck merchants. Uh-huh. Uh, half. Okay, fine. She's got money. That's a pretty good price for us. Like, I want the wands. Cure critical. I don't think I know that spell. That is a level four cure. I don't think I know that one. I just figured I'd get that, and there it is. One, two, three, four. I don't know it. Excellent. Let's fight. Pay for healing, please. Oh, yeah, why that so sexy. That's some good stuff there. You no, know I want it. You no, know I want it. Uh, if we want, I have gives me more power. I have enough wands, though. So. For now. I want a portable hole. That'd be the best treasure I could possibly get. Uh, learn it. Yes. I think I'm gonna teach Carl to teach Carl quick hands, so I can quickly swap to the shield. The shield increases and gives me like three. Because if he has a shield out in his hand, he can't cast spells. He needs a free hand for the somatic. And he can swap quickly swap the wand and stuff like that. So I could yeah swap those two right there. And you don't want to attack like this, right? So that was a nice find right there. Oh, that's not so many wands. I mean, I do want some of them for loot. You know, actually. It's about here, eh? I'll sell that, because I don't need it. I'm pretty sure that works. And I can always enchant that, too. Those I'll hang on to. Mm -hmm. So, I'm already inclined to... I mean, if I were to betray them, I thought it would be missing nice. But if I were to... <laughs> I'd certainly make sure to buy that wand from her first. Because I think I slaughter her. I, she, has, she has a portable hole or something, because I can't get it, or it dies in the battle or something. Okay. So this place is a lot more to it than I thought. Cool. And I came back. Love side quests. So I mean the game is. More white greens. There's quite a few of them. Must be a nice water supply. They got trees growing down here, right? Where's the light? Ah, it is. It's magic. <laughs> the hole there, and you're directing the light. Hmm, that must be the door. You hear some small noises behind the door. You cannot be sure what is causing the noise. Small noises, the shuffling of the undead. I probably can't open it. There's an inscription in common tongue on the strong, on the strong door. It reads, "Forbidden tomb." Still, we have. 
Door's locked, do we need the key? Yeah, because you're gonna Okay, that's the tomb. Cool. So I can go there and stay. I think I'll just go over there. Oh, what's that, sir? You're making your way through wet, sinister tavern tunnels and caverns. Oh, how sinister it is. I mean, it's quite. It's kind of bugs, right? It'd be interesting if it actually wasn't light down here, because the Thright Crane, they use antenna mainly, right? Ah. The, the Grimlocks are blind, right? They surprised me. Oh! Did everyone pass me, you fool? <laughs> they think not. What should I do right here? And the leader. <laughs> it's a bit stronger. What's the wand you're wielding? Oh my god. Imagine missing a wand. <laughs> I could even shoot you. Which isn't bad. Do it. Bad morale. That's worth it. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. Okay. What do you have for a wand? Another missile. <laughs> yeah, ones are awesome. Can I? Yes. So fun. <laughs> Jar. Oh my God! Cleave. No, he's not cleave because it wasn't his turn. That guy. Step to here. Oh, 12. <laughs> Ooh, that's. I'm gonna sell those to the cleric. And I'll stare down. I wonder if it leads to the same place. Maybe. Yeah. Eh! Dear God. Yuck. <laughs> that's the Grimlocks, right? Hmm. We're already here, so let's head here. You listen at the door, you hear some voices from several people inside. Ah, uh, oh, there are dwarves. You see a dwarf in wizard clothing. <laughs> Welcome, adventurers. This is Scepter's territory. King Scepter wants to see you. Will you please follow me? No one tells me what to do. <laughs> sure, leader. Before you sits a dwarf with exceptionally large muscles. <laughs> He has tanned skin and scarred face. That's interesting. He's tanned. So he's from the surface. Okay. Presently, Dwarf says, Greetings, men from the surface. I'm King Septor the Seventh. Consider yourself lucky to be admitted to my presence. I'm surprised he's my herald just <laughs> announcing he's sitting on his throne. But first things first. Have you met any Thrykreens on your way here? I don't see a cleric casting you. <laughs> it is sensing a lying reading. Uh... Yes, they want to make peace. You must be trying to keep spies! God, steal them! I immediately attack. If you punish me for being honest, I'm gonna break you for that, you proud little dwarf. Fierce axe will be mine. What is that? What is a Manzium axe? Ooh. See, this is why you don't weapon specialize. You can use all sorts of fun things. He's a proud fool. And he's evil! He's an evil dwarf! I knew it. My instincts are correct. Mm -hmm. That appears to be a cleric. A level cleric. <laughs> level 4 cleric, maybe. The advisor. A dwarf wizard in the service of King Septon the Seventh. I could have lied to him. You know who to kill first, right? Oh, it appears Omic went first again. Yes. It's always a good idea to. <laughs> frog. <laughs> it's always a good idea to make. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, that's sexy right there. Make sure your wizards go first. Ah! Damn it, Rufus, you're in the way. <laughs> what are these guys? I'm probably just regular guards. Dwarf flat footed. Yeah, so fast wizards or happy wizards. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Clark. Very nice. I'll stay. Mm, I'll stay here. Carl. Run down the wizard. Oh, other. This mage do we know what he's going to do? Proud dwarf die. <laughs> Gone. That's funny. Okay, super arrow. Ouch. Favor a spell. 
What are you using, Carl? Oh, you can cast a spell. Which we might do, actually. Step to here, and... Hmm, what should I do? What should I do? Hmm. I don't even really need... Oh, why not? That's such a good music for a <laughs> ah, It's just into fire. Interesting. Fine shield. Oh, I'm it. Oh, now what should I cast here? Scorching. Did he absorbed a bit of fire? So probably not scorching ray. Feats does he have? Damage reduction five versus adamantium. I wonder if there's adamantium protecting versus. Oh no, he's fire resistance. Okay. I'm like adamantium. Probably should give him a little bit of elemental resistance and fire. Hmm. No, no, no. It cooks Carl. Carl doesn't like lightning bolts in space. Hmm. I debuff him. My group is even bigger. <laughs> uh, what should I do? What should I do? I have a lot of options. Veneration hmm. Ray? That'd be pretty funny. It is. Negative levels. Do level them by a bit. Hmm. Should I waste a fourth level slot on that? I'll wait a feeble now, I'd be smart. Yeah, I should feeble him. Ah! You missed, you fool! Oh my god, he lost 10 strength! <laughs> Jesus! Crap! <laughs> Not so muscly now, are you, big man? Ah, got you, advisor. <laughs> what should we do with him now? I could just blast some magic missiles and toy with him, but... Hmm. That's a will... Hey. That's a will save. Froggy! <laughs> it's a rat. <laughs> it's a rat. I love it. <laughs> Strength zero, defense zero. <laughs> you screwed. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's really funny. Paralyzed. Kunagra, 40, dead. <laughs> Stole the rat. <laughs> rat king, love it. That's his lieutenant. Lawfully neutral. Chose poorly, buddy. Step to here and. Hmm. Set to there. And just magic missile. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you're dead. Got you. Ooh. Wolf Slayer. <laughs> Personal weapon, the King Sector of the Dwarves, forged in the depth of the earth. This adamantium weapon was enchanted for accuracy. Mm. I want to hang on to that. Adamantium, furious axe. Very nice. You're exploring a complex of tunnels and rooms constructed by a community of dwarves with an evil king. I wonder if you raised an alarm. Probably. Yep! <laughs> ah, these guys are crappy. <laughs> Get him! Blast him with the wand. Nah, I can't. I'll delay with the wizard. I could have ended it right there with fireball, but why? I don't need to.
Don't die. I probably just teleport. <laughs> I do have a teleport spell. If I need to, just to. Because I don't want to lose any loot. Carl, you know, I just had a smash with you, Carl, so. We know we should have that, right? I was worthy of that. I sent him to Dwarf Star Axis, didn't I? Yeah, Dwarf Star Axis, Legend of Battle Axis. It's a one handed exotic. Yeah, don't, don't use it. Subscribe. Challenge rating six, really? They're one fireball away from death. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, the grounds are on the corner. Laughs. And cast fireball. Bye bye, dwarf. <laughs> dwarf dead. <laughs> dwarf dead. Oh my god. <laughs> bye bye. 43 damage. Take the hundo. It's supposed to have longbows. I expect crossbows from them. And that's spelled like it's spelled to, to even summon a space for loot. For a merchant to call a merchant. Hmm. Really, dwarves? I mean, if I could just bond them. Cancel action. Go to here. And they've learned nothing, it would seem. Bye bye, dwarves. <laughs> That's worth carrying. Ah, oh, that's the wizard. Well, we know who to target first, right? Hmm. What's up to here? And cast a spell. Apparently not. I will not cast a spell. I already have a spell. And... I'll just run past it. Bye-bye, wizard. Cleave! <laughs> Cleave through those other two guys like nothing. <laughs> Run him down. That's a quick quest, huh? Shame that I might have access to a merchant. Oh well. He's evil anyway. Good thing he's dead. And I'm right there, I'm gonna head to the... I'm not gonna flip the quest yet, because I do want to butcher all those hard little dwarves. Here, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Down, 
outside of me having all these wands. So I have less room for stuff to sell. So let's take stuff up there soon. Especially with heavy armor. Why am I carrying this? I don't know. I am. Ah, 60k, that's so furious axe. It's a Mantium weapon, I mean. Mm, I do kind of want to hang on to it. I, I sold the fancy shield I had, huh? Whatever. Poo! Let's head back to Dwarf Land. Beat them down some more. Because I, I worry about if I complete the quest, I might. The dwarves might hear of it and they'll abandon the hold, so I'll lose XP or loot or treasure. A few rooms I can go through, right? So let's. Plus, could get respawns. Dwarf dining room. Go with a beer hall, really. You listen at the door, no sound comes from behind it. You listen, you listen at the door, there is something wild behind it. There is something growling savagery, something banging on the door. Open the door. You're facing a strong double door. It is locked. <laughs> at once, open the door. Let's the prison. It is locked. Metallic. And melted. <laughs> hmm. Probably like the mine. Oh, hello. Two hit point dwarf. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Take that. So conceivably, you could have won here just and kept going if you got lucky and used uh, magic bane arrows on the queen. Took her out that way. Conceivably, you could have done that. Anyway, that's time. If I head up, this will put me out here. Okay, cool. Oh, it's the other way you get now. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're hitting this place after the Orc Stronghold. <laughs> Choose on my body or nothing. A Neptune. A lawfully evil dwarf wizard. Council and Neptune is a wizard in the service of King. Scepter. He has a wand I want, and he has the keys, the crystal key. The jail keys. And he has a wand. So we want to. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good just going first. I love it. Unfortunately, he's over there. On the delay. Ah, ah, fourth. Run him down, please. Go to here and use your wand. 
Bye bye, Mr. Neptune. <laughs> He would have been a merchant, but I got a wand off him, so I'm cool. It's an empty wand, but that's excellent for me. What's that? Those would be sold. Plus one, I don't really value that. They cast me a jar. What should I turn that one into? They both have a magic missile wand, which is awesome. He's got a sleep wand. He needs an Olmec. Oh, a large person wand, acid arrow wand, lightning bolt, wand of chaos. That could be anything. I could even give it to Carl and make another Medicare Wands one. Let's not. We're a little crazy on those. Kind of figured they'd have a vendor here. Okay. Let's check out those areas. Listen at the door. You listen at the door. You don't hear anything. Judging from the smell in this room, you just found little trees. Yeah, That's disgusting. <laughs> they all poo in one room. <laughs> ah. Not hear anything. Another little train, maybe. No storage room. Anything? Ooh, there's several barrels here. Search for them. Yes. We find 150 gold coins lying behind a barrel. 150 bucks. But, you know, they might have been at level three. They're level ten, less so. I'll take it though. Let's head down here, then we'll probably look through there. Cause I have the keys now. What's the crystal key to our room? I know the jail key is to that. That's pretty obvious. You put your your ear here to a door and now the sound filters through. You unlock the door of ease using the crystal key. Ah, it's a treasury. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Arm racer, awesome. Minor fire rank. Oh my god. It's a treasury. Awesome. Another fire rank. That's pretty cool. Who gets that? Uh, Carl should get it, right? Boop. Awesome. So that's cool. You could have went in that way and fight through them and not get taken directly with the king. Because directly with the king, I suppose your low level would be a harder battle, right? I'll keep going. I want to finish this place. Oh my god, who did it? The Yetis did it! <laughs> Are they Yetis? They're elementals? <laughs> Chewy Ch Chewbacca's over there. Okay. This creature's arms are like two clubs made of jagged stone. Head and legs made of earth and rock are without feature. So this is a little earth elementals. Do they have... The cool thing about earth elementals, they tend to have... Yeah, na nature, nature... Higher armor, yeah. They tend to have tremor, tremor sense. So they can they see through invisibility and stuff like that. And they often have... DR as well, damage reduction, just built into them. It's, you can't buy fails. He's got nothing though. So, there. I guess I'll just wand them. Why not? Really, three hit points. <laughs> Miserable, I thought you saw you. Poorly formed. Bye bye. Moonstones. Because I pulled gems out of them, I'll take the quartz. That's probably a quest to do that, whatever. From Neptune, but Neptune's dead, so. Yeah. Oh well. There's the prison keys. There's the Grimlock. I'll check the empty one first. Yeah, I have some fireball. Those dwarf bands could have been a challenge. If I didn't. I have to cleave through them. You unlock the devil door if you use the jail key. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was too late. You're free, Mr. Snake. Yeah, you get the feeling they're not nice guys. You unlock the devil door keys. Oh, it was a troll! <laughs> well. Bye bye, troll. You know what to prefer. Yeah, I can just wand you. I mean, it would have been nice to get a troll on my side, but they're easy, so. 
definitely bleed him every now and then. Uh, potions of healing or generation. Uh, yeah. Ow! Ow! Bastard! You pay for that. Oh, you're done now, just a troll. And also troll battle, so. Bit of XP. Didn't have anything. Well, that's it for the dwarves, right? Bye bye, evil dwarves. Anyway, this is Knights of the Chalice by Heroic Fantasy Games. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye bye.